What is up, guys? Welcome to my review for Titan Season 2, Episode 6, titled uh, Connor. Now, speaking of Connor, I think this episode did an incredible job, and I mean that, incredible job, at introducing us to the character of Connor Kent, a.k.a. Superboy, showing parts of his origin story and him going through the steps of becoming a hero. But I think that what this episode did so well was, like I said, introducing Connor and characterizing him. Connor Kent, typically the clone of Love, of Superman, and Lex Luthor, is either douche that's what he typically, that's what he originally was in the comics, but then lately, because of Young Justice, or really in Young Justice, he's been a, an angry character, at least at the beginning, but here they did something completely different. He's not really either of those things at all. He's more of a regular person, just with the maturity of an infant, which I think that was genius. It makes so much sense, and it is so much fun. Not only is, does he have the immaturity of an infant, and then maybe he gets the maturity of a teenager at one point, but he also has the intelligence of not only a grown adult, but also Lex Luthor and Superman, two of the smarter people on the planet. Lex Luthor is the smartest person on the planet, and Superman and Superboy or Connor has some of his memories and his knowledge, and I think that was such a great thing that did there. The, this this version of Superboy is very different from most of versions. Like I said, he has the maturity thing, not typically a thing. Also, the memories of Superman and Lex Luthor also not typically a thing, and the knowledge he's really just a clone, a new person who has to become a human being, but here he's really just a combination of Superman and Lex Luthor with the maturity level of an infant because he's experiencing everything for the first time ever and honestly it's ridiculously fun and it's awesome and it makes him such a great character. His journey in this episode is it's, it's so great from leaving Cadmus to having these memories of Lex Luthor and Superman having this conflict, con conflict within him where he's half, basically he's half good and half evil and that is I think so incredibly interesting. So right off the bat, Connor Kent, probably my favorite character on the show ever. Crypto is also incredibly awesome and I'll talk about why that is in this review. So this episode basically goes exactly as I expected it to, with Connor escaping from Cadmus, as we saw in the cliffhanger of the kind of season finale of season one, and this picks up right off from that. I expected it to end also with him Jason, uh, saving Jason, which is exactly what happened. I thought either that would happen, or maybe the next episode would see the conclusion to how Jason survives, but what happened here is definitely, I think, predictable, and I'll talk about that when I get to the end of this review, but the episode begins with Connor rescuing Crypto, as we saw in the finale of the last season, and escaping from Cadmus. Then the scientist created him, Eve Watson, uh, Watson as, well, as well as Mercy Graves, talk about him and set out to stop him and uh, chase him down. Connor has these memories of an abusive father. There's a lot of very, very fun moments where he doesn't have it. He wants to buy the Superman shirt, which is exactly how he looks in the comics as well as in Young Justice. It's basically like they tore him right out of Young Justice, the way he looks and his what he wears. But also this, this scene where he stops a mugging, where he stops it and then confusingly takes the purse for himself so he can buy the Superman shirt. That was, that was, it was such a funny scene and it worked so incredibly well in my opinion. That was really just the beginning of what they were doing there. Like I said, Connor has these memories of an abusive father, which is obviously Lionel Luther, the father of Lex Luthor, who him being abusive definitely fits him as a character. Lex Luthor growing up with, the, with an abusive father makes a lot of sense, but what they did here, they also showed a, a very loving mother, which is obviously Martha Kent, or it might be uh, Lillian Luthor the mother of Lex Luthor, but it's almost definitely go it's probably Martha Kent, so what they did here was they showed that scene, and then they showed Connor going to Kansas, so everyone I think, at least myself, expected for him to go to the Kent farm, and I was pretty excited for him to do that, but then it, there's kind of this eerie, mysterious, and dark uh, tone that begins, it that sets in, the world gets a little darker because it's going into nighttime, but then it shows that it's actually the Luthor uh, house, which is, I think, such a great twist, because I expected it to be the Kent, and then it turns out to be Luthor, and I thought that was really, really good. So Connor goes into the Luthor house and meets his father Lionel. Lionel is very different from what we've seen before. He's a frail, blind old man instead of a evil genius like he was in Smallville, a billionaire as well. Here, he's none of those things, and that's definitely something they did differently, but also I really like what they did here. It makes him uh, unique enough, and it works really well in the storyline. Also, how he was a abusive father when Lex Luthor was a kid. Speaking of Lex Luthor, I really like how this episode built him and also Superman up as characters 
somehow making their presence in the world very much known through Superboy, and I really liked that. I thought that that was great. But at Lionel's house, Mercy Graves and her whole team tries to subdue Connor, and the fight that ensues is genuinely incredible. The whole thing where they they're just they're using Superboy's powers with the heat vision and the super strength and even the super breath, I think it all looks so cool. But that all I think is nothing compared to Crypto when the agent outside shot a missile launcher into the house crypto caught it and then threw it back at the agent it was incredible probably the best moment on the show ever one of the coolest moments in tv history it's so damn cool what they did there not only that but the cgi i think looks really cool and the whole fight scene that leads up to that also it's great it's i think the best part of this episode or at least one of the best parts along with connor as a character but it, it's just so cool probably i think the best fight scene this show has ever had after that, Connor meets Eve Watson, the scientist who created him, and, and she tells him what he is. He's a genetic clone of Superman and Lex Luthor. Like I said, I really like what they did here with Superman, Lex Luthor, and how they handled Connor being a clone of them. But then uh, Connor and Eve drive away from Cadmus, and on the drive, Eve talks about nuclear physics. This is when we learn that Connor has the knowledge of, Clark of Superman and Lex Luthor, or at least parts of it. And when he s started saying well, like everything about nuclear physics, which definitely reminded me of that scene from Young Justice. Anyone else? Modern Malaysia was created in 1855 and ruled by the Bokun dynasty until it was divided by the great powers into North and South Malaysia after World War II. And that I thought was a really, really good moment, which I really, really enjoyed. So then, on the drive, they after this whole thing about nuclear physics, they arrive in this gas station, and there's this hilarious moment where Superboy makes this hot dog joke to Crypto. It's so funny. It's hilarious. But then, uh, the scene that ensues is that, that uh, Superboy sees an abusive boyfriend. He does see a lot of crime for a normal human being. I mean, he's not a normal human being, but he's not really going anywhere extremely dangerous or anything. I mean, he's at a gas station, but he sees an abusive boyfriend, goes to stop him, and then Eve stops him so they don't uh, draw attention to them so that uh, Academus can find them. This, I think, was a great scene because it showed how Superboy was maturing. Maybe not in a great, you know, maybe he's not fully mature yet, but it's showing how, at this point, he's kind of in the teenager rebellious stage as how that's how he, re he reacts to Eve, who is kind of his mother in some regard. And I thought that was great on top of that hot dog joke and how Superboy told it, which was, I think, hilarious. So then Connor and Eve arrive in San Francisco. At this moment, the exact moment where they did arrive in San Francisco, it was pretty obvious where the episode was going to end with Jason being saved by Connor, which is exactly what happened. There's a little twist at the end. Another thing happens, which obviously Connor gets shot by a kryptonite bullet. I'll get to that later in the review. But him saving Robin, it was pretty obvious that's where they were going based off the fact that they are in San Francisco. And even before that, it was pretty obvious. I don't think it takes away very much from the episode because that him saving Jason, I don't think was the main purpose of the episode in the slightest and it was not the main purpose or point of this episode and it's not like I was anxiously waiting for it to happen the entire time it's not like I was like come on let's get to the Robin part already because I was so invested in these characters and the storyline and I absolutely loved the storyline of this episode I love the characters Connor Eve and crypto it's crazy how much this episode builds them up and makes them so well developed in just 40 minutes and even less than that it's insane but here when they arrive in San Francisco they start the storyline of Eve Eve uh, being an alcoholic or drinking a lot of alcohol and blaming herself for the creation of Superboy or Connor as well as all these other clones. She is just very, very three-dimensional. She's such a well-rounded character and this episode does a great job at just building her up even though this might be the only episode she ever appears in. But then she reveals to Connor what he is fully, the other clones of Superman, the ones that didn't work because of cloning alien DNA or at least Kryptonian DNA needs a human uh, bonding agent which was Lex Luthor. All of these other clones didn't work, except for one of them looks like he's pretty humanoid and is probably Bizarro, but I think this scene is great. How uh, Connor reacts, going to his angry side like he is in Young Justice typically, and dealing with the fact that he is basically a monster, and saying and Eve is like, I have to deal with that as well, but this whole thing where he is a monster, but this entire time it's clear that he isn't really, he's, he's always gone towards the more Superman side than the Lex Luthor side, always being 
being a hero, saving Crypto, and then saving Lionel, even though Lionel's not exactly a good person, they he didn't deserve to uh, be beaten up at that point, so it's really good what they do here, and Eve, who's basically his mother saying goodbye to him, is actually a little bit emotional, this entire scene I think is incredible, and it's a great climax to a very good episode, and probably the best episode of this show ever. And then, obviously, what we all knew was going to happen, Superboy walks past Jason, who's about to fall. Very lucky that there was a Superboy walking past just as Jason was about to fall, but that does happen, and Superboy saves his life. I think that the CGI for him jumping up, that was actually legitimately pretty cool. I should have should have said this, but the CGI in this episode was top-notch for Superboy's abilities, even Crypto himself, who is his only CGI in a couple moments, but I think the CGI in this episode was really good. Superboy saves Jason's life at a pretty cool moment, and then out of nowhere, after Mercy Graves said that she's going to do it her way, and she puts a kryptonite bullet in a gun, Superboy is shot right in the chest by that kryptonite bullet, and Crypto is captured. I really, really had a hard time with this moment, because this episode led to such a, I think, a feel-good moment with Superboy finally embracing his heroic side, and then saving Jason Todd, and right then, not only is Crypto an amazing character based off this episode captured, but also Superboy is shot. I don't think Superboy is going to die, necessarily. I think that I would be really mad if he does, because he's such an amazing character. It would be such a waste, like with Aqualad, but even more so with Superboy, especially since the cliffhanger where he was set up. So if he dies, or even Crypto dies, I would be really, really mad. But if they don't, it still is, I don't think, my favorite part of the episode. It definitely, I don't think, uh, takes away from the score very much, but I, it's a little repetitive. I mean, they had the same cliffhanger two episodes in a row with a character looking like he's going to die, Jason, in the last episode, Superboy, in this episode, and I just, I don't think that Superboy's gonna die. He was just introduced, so the cliffhanger is repetitive, and it's kind of not really much of a cliffhanger, because I don't think Superboy is going to die. The question is not whether he's going to die, it's whether or not, or how he's going to be saved, and considering the next episode is titled Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne is appearing. I think it's probably Bruce who is going to help save Connor as he probably comes to San Francisco to check on Jason and get the status on Deathstroke. Either way, I don't think it's my favorite part of the episode at all. However, it does not hurt the episode, I think, in the slightest. It might not be a 10 out of 10 perfect episode, but it is pretty damn close, as this episode introduces, I think, the best character on the show so far, with a new, interesting, better, I think, take on Superboy than we've ever seen before. He is played by a great actor. The actor, uh, Joshua Orpin, does a great job, not only by portraying this character and looking like this character, but portraying what they were trying to do with this immature, but also very, very powerful, and uh, a person who is a very knowledgeable, yet immature, like an infant, then a kid, and probably a teenager at, the, at this point, but I think it works so damn well. Not to mention that Crypto is an incredible, Eve is a great character, and I think genuinely, I, I never once thought that the Titans were missing from this episode. I was like, this could be its own show. I think this actor, this character, along with Crypto and Eve, and probably a, a couple other characters introduced, with Lex Luthor, Mercy Graves, and Cadmus being the main villains, that could be a genuinely great show, and I think if Superboy gets his own show, I would be really happy. However, I think this episode is perfect, the storyline's perfect, the characters are perfect, the action scenes are the best the show has ever had, and it's genuinely really funny and really enjoyable, so while the ending I don't think is amazing, everything else is absolutely perfect, so I'd give it a 9.9 .9 out of 10. But what do you think about the episode? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you like this video, make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching, and I know personally that I am so much more excited for the rest of the season now that Super Bowl finally debuted.